Hey guys, Asalaamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuhu <coughs> BPF Watch, I've got a update Apparently there's a wave of uh, protons uh, striking the earth right now A huge one um, Again, uh, we've anticipated that this um, uh, celestial body um, Is going to come within very uh, considerable close proximity to us From here till the end of December I think this is all um, pointed towards that. December 19, 2016. As you're looking at microwave imaging, this is total precipitable water around the globe, and we've got these waves pushing in from the 18th up to date into the 19th. I've got it paused here on the 18th, and uh, we're seeing a strong fluctuations in the proton density around our planet also. This is not the only monitor I'll show you. But uh, notice the band that goes up and then down. If you wrap this globe around, or you wrap the map into a round globe, guys, you're going to see that that went all the way around our planet. It's following the satellite tracking pretty much that you see as we track uh, Tango 1, the Chinese uh, satellite that's slowly coming down in orbit. And you can see that wrapped around the globe. Now, what could have done it? Was it an anomaly with several instruments at one time? I don't think so, but let's go beyond that. Let's look at the magnetopause now. What you can see here is slight bending, but I'm going to show you the magnetopause in a couple of other models. But you, and you could see it there bending, but watch as we go from uh, in through the 19th today and get around 0800 hours universal time. Watch the closed field lines in the red. They're bent all the way back into this teardrop shape that our magnetosphere is bent into as it's facing the sun coming from the right. Now again, the first images was microwave, but we're, this is a proton event, and that's what we're seeing. As you see these closed field lines, again, stripped back like that at 0800 hours, that is proton density, and it was picked up on the ACE satellites and the GOES also. We'll look at one other model of the uh, magnetopause. Now watch, again, timestamp in the top middle. Watch the blue field to the left. The arrows are pointing to the left. That's the correct direction for the solar stream. Again, this did not come from the sun, I don't think. 821, look at that cloud. That's proton. This is a proton event that swept all the way around our planet. You can see it here, but it was not from behind us. Remember in the video last night, I think it was, guys, I talked about if in October, as we look at this uh, ACE density timeline, guys, look right here as we go into the 19th right there that spike that's what wrapped around our planet notice at the top that's the interactive timeline for ace density and you can move the if you go there all of these links are on the website you can uh, move that back and forth here as it was coming back in the signal it, we saw the spike at 0700 see that guys at the bottom so we had an hour warning before this hit our planet again 0700 they say about 45 minutes, but it's going to depend on the speed. We've seen the solar wind go from 750,000 miles an hour to 1.5 million miles per hour. This is what we're looking at. This particular coronal hole is very large. We're going to get a lot of solar wind buffeting our planet, probably again in the 700 kilometers per second range. We saw eight-point earthquakes a week ago when this happened. Now. There has not been any coronal mass ejections large enough to cause what we just saw. The very first of this video, if you want to back it up and look at that uh, total precipitation map, those are very unusual patterns that are coming across this planet. And looking at Lasco C3, you can see, guys, there's not been any mass coronal ejections that are powerful enough to do this. As you guys that haven't seen this before, we're looking at an Earth-facing view of the sun on Lasco C3. The sun is behind that occulter disk to block the glare. Notice to the left, the cloud is very dense. It could be a proton event in itself. Check that out. We'll see. Sometimes you see these bright spots on the camera. Just wanted to point it out. I was looking to make sure there was no CMEs. If you remember in the video last night, guys, uh, the solar stream from that coronal hole that's on the sun should be arriving here tonight and through to tomorrow and go through the 25th. We went through four days of it the 